Hi, this is Ron Rodriguez, and I'm going to show you WP Presenter Pro, which should be releasing on the repo pretty soon for free. So what I'm going to do is add a new slide, and a slide is basically a presentation. So I'm going to give it a title. So we're camp Kansas City 2020, and then I'm going to add. Um, there's several blocks for W for presenter. There's a title, image, spacer, code, list item, text box, content, two columns, two columns of image. And then there's also a ton of atomic blocks that are supported if you have that installed and code blocks, which if you have that installed too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a slide title. So I'll do this as an introduction, and then for the slide, I can change it to a background image. And I'll pick on this one. And right now, the title is very hard to see, so what we can do is we can give it a, uh, a background color and maybe change that to white, kind of match the four cell sign. And then I can do a padding. A border radius, as you can see, that's going on pretty good. Uh, change the capitalization to uh, top. And let's go ahead and publish this slide. Let's use some speaker notes here. And before we get started with this uh, blue slide, there's a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. Um, the one I'm concentrating on is the speaker notes view. So I'll do that um, for this beginning uh, presentation. So introduction. It's a little bit still hard to read, so I'm going to maybe change that up a little bit, maybe make it white. But if I press S, I get speaker notes for that slide, and then it gives me a timer and all that cool stuff. So let's go back to the slide and just change out the introduction to maybe just black tech or a black background and white text. There we go. Okay, so if I want to add another slide, I would go down to WP Presenter Pro and then I would go down to uh, WP Presenter Slide and type in some speaker notes. Uh, Have some speaker notes in there. I'm going to add a slide title. And then I'm going to add an image. All right. And that's a little big, so I'm going to make it maybe a, uh, a medium sized image. And then I can select the transition, like up, down. Let's try that. Update, and then we're going to view the presentation again. So introduction, who am I, and it slides down just like that because of my transition. So let's go back and I'll show you something really cool. It's called uh, vertical slides. So. For each one of these main slides, you can add a vertical slide in. Just go to WP Presenter Pro and add a vertical slide. And a vertical slide, what it does is when you press a down arrow or whatever, um, it'll go to that slide. So let's just go ahead and add another product title or a slide title. All right. And then let's go ahead and go with code blocks. I have an animated uh, uh, GIF looker up there, so I'm going to do happy. That sounds good. All right. And then let's go ahead and add some speaker notes. Okay, and then I can go ahead and add another vertical slide to this. And let's go ahead and add another title. And 
And let's go ahead and add some content in here. And I have a placeholder for content. So, and then add some speaker notes. And let's go ahead and change the, uh, the color of the content uh, to, uh, let's change the uh, actual slide background color. So I'm gonna do a dark red, and then I could change the text color for the title, and likewise, I've done that for the slide. Um, I can increase the font size up a little bit. That's a little bit too much. And then let's go ahead and update and preview that. And so for now, we have a Who Am I, Mama Harika. Then you see a down arrow. This is a vertical slide with the animated edge of. And then this is a title for another vertical slide. Now if I hit S, I'll pull up the speaker notes. And you can see that I can navigate uh, through the slide and see the speaker notes. Uh, pop up that way. All right. And let me just show you one more thing. Actually, two more things. I got two more things to show you. All right, so we have a slide, and now I'm just going to add just a regular slide in. And then I'm going to add a code sample. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we can also go to the document and change the uh, navigation control. So I want to do display controls, keyboard shortcuts. I want to skip mouthful navigation because that always screws me up. Let's do push history. Let's do a slide number at the bottom. Uh, you can choose the same if you're not using a background color. And then you can adjust the slide size. And what I'm concentrating on is the right header. So what I'll do is just create a div. And then I'm just going to copy that over and do a left footer and just put my name in. So let's update that. And let's view the presentation. So now you can see my arrows. If I go, who am I? And then I see a down arrow that I can go to. This is a vertical slide. This is another vertical slide. So I can go back up to the original one. And you can see that I have in my header a uh, work at Kansas City 2020, and then on the left it has Ronald Harika. So let's go to our code example, and that's the last slide of the presentation. Uh, so with uh, WP Presenter Pro, you can, can, can create full-fledged presentations that are hosted on your WordPress site. So you don't have to go to like SlideShare or some other service. You can host the slides on your site and it's very flexible and it has a lot of uh, a lot of integrations with uh, with atomic blocks for example uh, let's you know use your advanced column saying for a second you can do three columns and then the color settings oops I'm sorry And then likewise for Okay, let's update that. 
that's just showing up atomic blocks as columns. So you got this is column one, this is column two, this is column three. So it's very flexible. All right, sorry for the long video. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be released pretty soon, hopefully.